Hey guys, it's Naples and welcome back to our farm in Calmlands. As you can see to my right, the sunflowers are ready to harvest. That's right. And the next field over here, the cornfield, that is also ready to harvest. We are currently in October and both fields are ready. So yeah, we have the work cut out for us. Um, but first things first. I have to drive to the store because we don't own a corn header yet or a sunflower header. Yeah, corn header does uh, both at once or not at once, but can do both. Can do corn and sunflower. So yeah, I'm going to drive over to the store and we're going to purchase a corn header because otherwise the crop is going to sit there and wither. And that is something that we don't want, especially after all the money and time we spend then on it. All right, so here we are. Unfortunately, there's nothing on sale. Well, this one is, but yeah, this one is only for sunflowers. And we also have corn to harvest. So I did some testing and I actually wanted to go for this one. The combine is able to uh, operate this also at a uh, decent speed. 10 kilometers an hour. That is uh, doable for the uh, combine that we have. But yeah. I think it's a bit much, 88,000 euros. I mean, we can afford it, but is it really necessary? Eh, I don't think so. So we're gonna go for this one, 53,000 euros. That's a bit more affordable. So let's buy that. We also need a trailer to go with it. So that's gonna be this one. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is, That's uh, that's fine. So there we go. All right, the store was uh, kind enough to offer their assistance to load this onto the trailer. So that is uh, very good. Now it's time to go back to the farm and well, put the combine to work again. We're gonna be starting in the sunflower field first. And after that, we're gonna do the corn. Sunflower field should be a bit faster to harvest since it's uh, way smaller. Yeah, looking good. Oh, also, as you can see to my right, the barley field has germinated quite nicely. Doing good. Is in perfect condition. That's the way we want to see it. Alright, here we go. Combine is already waiting over here. All right, I will leave the header trailer over there and I'm going to hook on the grain trailer. There we go. Yeah, I love the way it sounds. All right, let's get the header attached. There we go. Don't destroy the trailer in the process. That would be uh, that would be bad. But yeah, this header it looks a bit small on this uh, combine, but it's uh, it's fine. Oh, I did not unfold the combine yet. My bad. Takes a bit of time. There we go. Now we are ready to get to start. There we go. Sunflowers being harvested. Lovely. So what we can also do, of course. I only just thought about it. Um, the combine will keep going. Uh, production factories. I mean, you have the oil uh, factory something. Where is it? Combine is still going in a straight line. The oil mill, yeah, you can take the sunflowers and turn those into oil. 80,000 euros, and oh, it's also quite large. Alright, let's not uh, do that just yet. But 80,000 euros is affordable, and we uh, can process the sunflowers into oil. And sunflower oil, so yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Don't know yet. I think it's a wise idea to first get the uh, sunflower harvested. 
and well then we will see what we will spend our money on we don't have enough anymore for uh, a new plot of land unfortunately i was talking about that in a previous episode maybe a plot of land uh, could be bought but yeah we don't have enough money anymore because i kind of forgot that we had to purchase this corn header oh well we will make up as soon as we sell some more products for now i will get this harvest done and i will be right back with you on the final piece of the sunflower field already and it's been quite good there we go we are finished well there's a few small bits over here oh i missed something over here as well apparently yeah the remaining strip was just just the width of the header maybe a little bit wider so i've missed a i've missed a small bit over here but that's fine we can harvest that yeah, the harvest has been uh, pretty good. We've unloaded twice already in the uh, trailer. Not with a full combine, but almost full. So that is quite good. Alright, just these few sunflowers remaining. And now we can definitely, definitely say we are finished. Alright, lovely. So, time to unload uh, the combine into the trailer and find out how much sunflowers we actually have. Alright, there we go. Combine is empty. I'm gonna leave that here for now. Because it will be put to work again in the cornfield. But there we have it. 21,000 liters of uh, sunflowers. That is not bad. Not bad at all. For now, I'm going to store them in the grain silo over here. Uh, let's see, when are they at their best? Sunflowers in September or February. We are currently in October, 1548, 1418. Mm, okay, we'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait. All right, uh, next job. Well, you've guessed it. It's going to be the corn harvest. So I'm going to get the uh, combine to that field and I'm going to position this trailer near the field as well. And then we will start the corn harvest. Okay, here we go. We're going to start on the big field with corn. Start her up and let's get going. There we go, lovely. Corn being harvested i think this is going to take a little bit longer since the field is i don't know maybe twice as big uh that field took around 10 no i think 15 minutes something like that so yeah this is probably gonna take half an hour or something that's fine it's all worth it i'm gonna make a lot of money out of this field i still don't know what i want to spend all that money on I mean, it would be good to buy a new plot of land and get a new shed, because we really do need the space. Uh, because we now also have this header, and, well, there's no space for it. I can't put it in any shed, because the sheds are full. 
so yeah, I don't know yet. I've also been playing around a little bit with uh, space for the oil mill or the oil factory, however the hell it's called. Oh, that deer is playing a dangerous game over there. Oh my life, what is happening? Oh, that was uh, one hell of a stutter. But yeah, that deer is playing a very dangerous game. It's gone. Okay. Another one. Oh man, the yellow car. It's always the yellow car. I don't know, but there must be a lunatic driving in that uh, yellow car. But yeah, what was I talking about? Um, the uh, oil mill. Yeah, I don't have any space for it. It's, uh, it's way too big. And if I place it anywhere there is space there has to be uh, I have to do so much landscaping that's uh, yeah that is quite nuts so we're not gonna do that just yet maybe if we buy a new plot of land where we have uh, extra storage maybe there will also be some room for the oil mill try not to miss bits there we go So yeah, we're not going to be doing any sunflower uh, processing. We're just going to sell them as they are. Harvested sunflowers. Nothing special. Even though the, uh, the sunflower oil is quite good, money-wise. Oh, I also just noticed uh, rain in the forecast. Uh, three o'clock. All right, that's fine. We will be long done before it's three o'clock. At least, I hope. Alright, well, that's enough of me rambling. I will start a little time lapse and get the corn harvest done. And then I will be right back with you. Here we go. Already the final strip of corn is being harvested. As you can see the entire field has been cleared. Small piece remaining and we are finished. I have to say the yield was quite good. There we go. We are done. Excellent. Time to head back to the farm and drop everything off in the grain silo. As you can see over there in the distance, the worker is already delivering another trailer to the grain silo. It's not completely full, but around 80%, so yeah, that was quite good. And there he goes. He's gonna start tipping. And now we are gonna start the unloading. And then we can have a total figure of what we have. Come on, there we go. Yeah, the trigger is quite sensitive over here at the grain silo. That's fine. So, how much do we have? Um, corn. 63,972. I have to say, it is quite good. Alright, well, that was that. Um, now we are finished for this month. There's not much else that we can do. Um, yeah, the only thing left to do is to uh, keep the animals alive and wait for uh, sowing season again, which is going to be in March. 
March, April time. Is that on? Hmm. I guess it's on. Alright, well, I'm gonna get uh, everything cleaned up a little bit and put it back in the shed and then I will bring you guys back. Well, I think maybe in March or if something very interesting pops up in the sale. When is corn at its best anyway? Corn. In June. Only 878 for every thousand liters. That's the reason why the uh, yield was so good. Uh, we could check the price in December, January time, but it's probably going to be in June that we're going to sell. The canola will be in November. Oh, I think we can actually sell the canola first. February for the uh, sunflowers, maybe in March. All right, I will keep an eye on that and I will bring you guys back ASAP. All right, good morning. Welcome in December. As you can see, we are filling up the trailer with the first load of canola. The price has peaked. It's actually decreasing at the moment. Uh, here we go. 1404 in December. And we are currently at 1406. So we got to move. But yeah, as you can see, the price is as good as, as it's going to be. And the trailer is full. 33,600 liters. That is quite a lot. So that is going to be... Quite a struggle, I think, for this tractor going uphill over there. But that's fine. It will manage. It has enough horsepower, so it will not come to a complete stop. Alright, there we go. That is already almost the entire trailer empty and sold. Not bad. 51,598. Oh boy, that is quite good. And the tractor held up quite nicely uh, going uphill. So that is also excellent. I think the speed dropped to, I don't know, maybe 20 kilometers an hour. So that's not bad. All right. Uh, time to collect the remaining 20,000-ish liters, I think. Oh, 13. 13,000 liters. And we're going to get that sold as well. All right. While that is loading up, uh, I have not been sitting idle here and just moving uh, time. Or fast-forwarding time, I should say. As you can see over here, I have been quite busy because the potato pancakes are coming out of our ears. The uh, potato processing plant is doing very well. So we just have to wait until the price is at its best. Um, that was quite tricky to load them all up, but yeah, I managed. The uh, class tractor is very good. And of course, I have been feeding the animals and also giving them water. So yeah, I am not just sitting idle and fast-forwarding time, if you thought I was doing that. I am busy. Alright, uh, the remaining canola has been loaded up 13,091 liters. Let's get it sold. Alright, here we go. Final bit of canola. Oh, that was a bit of a weird angle. There we go. Also, 20,000 euros. Uh, also, it is a good thing that this um, facility over here does not have any collision. Because if you have a full trailer, the trailer goes through the roof. So if you would have had collision, that would have caused quite some issue. But luckily, that's not the case. Otherwise, you would only be able to unload there with smaller trailers. Or with, uh, with a moving floor. Alright, well... Um, is there anything else that we can sell? Sunflowers in February and corn in June. So new. Wheat is for the chickens. And that is about it because the potato pancakes are best in July. So that's going to be a while. Um, let's see. Corn. June. Sunflowers. February. Maybe even March. Eight, four, seven. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's the worst price. Holy hell. Alright. I'm gonna go back to the farm. And we're gonna skip time just a little bit more. Maybe see if we can sell something else. Maybe uh, there, there are some sheep that are worth a thousand euros each again. Who knows. I will be right back. 
All right, just dumped a little bit of weed back into the grain silo because I've just been feeding the chickens. And as you can see, uh, there are a few white tire tracks here and there. Uh, that's not from lime, that is from the snow. During uh, skipping time in January, there was quite a bit of snow. So yeah, I've been driving, uh, driving around through the snow. And the tire tracks marks are still here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've loaded up, or I am still loading up the sunflowers, because the price has peaked. 1606 in March and we are currently in 1607 so we're gonna sell the sunflowers and I will see you at the sell point all right here we go let's start overloading the sunflowers and I think once this is finished I'm gonna end the episode this may be a bit of a shorter episode but well look at that 36 913 not bad uh, yeah, like I wanted to say, this may be a bit of a shorter episode. Uh, that's because I'm also recording ahead of time. Uh, I'm actually recording this on a Sunday. I have no idea when this is going to be released, but the coming week I will be on a short little vacation. So I am pre-recording quite a lot of videos so that you guys don't have to miss anything while I am gone. So, um, let's see, our bank account is currently 270, so that is awesome. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think this is a good time for me to end today's episode. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, well, you know what to do, guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.